unique, right? We've seen type C ports before and hubs, and we've seen other types of hubs, including the official Microsoft Surface dock, which has been out for years. So why get this? Well, obviously it's about the whole stand thing. And if you've seen the Surface Studio, you should be looking at this and thinking, wow, it looks an awful lot like it. And you wouldn't be wrong. I think Kensington really went out of their way to make this look like a Surface Studio well, a mini version of it. And they definitely worked with Microsoft for this as well, whether it's matching the color, the fact that it actually uses the same power supply as a Surface Dock, which is kind of weird. It's literally the same one Microsoft branded. This is also one of the first product that's officially certified for Surface Pro using Microsoft's program for that. Let's get to the docking situation here. So this works with the Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 5, also known as Surface Pro 2017, and the new Surface Pro 6. And when it comes to docking, it's gonna use the Surface Connect. And that's actually sort of what makes this unique. A lot of docking solutions use USB type A for Surface Pro, and it's not as good because you're really gonna put a lot of stuff through that one port and it just can't handle a lot of bandwidth. But since Surface Connect is actually very powerful, one reason Microsoft sticks with it is, well, it does power, it does display, and it does data. So it can do a lot, including, in this case, four USB type A ports, which is in addition to the one that's already on the device. It also get two DisplayPort options. So one's DisplayPort 1.2, the other one's a full HDMI 2.0 port, which is really nice. Now compared to Surface Dock, well, there you only get two mini DisplayPorts, which is not that exciting in my opinion. You still need an adapter for most people. Now, in addition to that, you're going to get a USB Type-C on the back of this, which is kind of cool in theory. Although it's USB Type-C, it's the limited functionality of Type-C. So it only handles data, no display out, no power. And that data is not my favorite. When I connected up a Samsung T5 SSD to it using a Type-C connector, well, the drive speeds were abysmal. Going to the USB Type-A though, it was a lot better. So that Type-C is more there for a little bit of future proofing in case you actually need it, but the performance is not that good. It's definitely not Thunderbolt 3 as this device and Surface Pro can't handle that. There's also going to be a gigabit Ethernet port on the back, which is super useful for a docking situation. And there should be no surprise, there's a Kensington slot on this for a Kensington lock, so you can lock down the whole system. Now, what is missing, I was a little disappointed about, was no SD card slot. I would have really preferred to have an SD card slot on this. I think it would have worked well for the target audience here. There's also no slots on the front for USB Type A, meaning they're all behind, just like Surface Studio. And while that gives you a very clean look, while it's not as utilitarian, it's a tough choice though, because I really like the way this looks, but let's be honest, it would've been nice to have a slot in the front as well. Now let's get to the bread and butter of this thing. It's the docking situation that makes this a full desktop PC that's really exciting. You can't do that with Surface Dock. It's just a brick that sits on the side. It's kind of actually not very elegant looking. This, however, well, it looks like a mini Surface Studio. So you just slide in the Surface Pro and you connect in that Surface Connecting and it works very well. Now the device is a lot of plastic. It's pretty good quality plastic. I would have preferred a better material. It would've been kind of cool if they spice this up with a little Alcantara on this side as well for some accenting, but there's also a lot of metal. These hinges are definitely chrome and looks a lot like Surface Studio. And the base itself is a mixture of plastic and metal. In fact, the whole device weighs 7.3 pounds or 3.3 kilograms. It's very heavy. And the reason for that is so when you slide the Surface Pro down or up, well, it doesn't slide as much. This mechanism is nowhere near quite the elegance of a zero gravity hinge on the Surface Studio 2, but it works well enough. And that's what makes this device really cool. Now you have the Surface Pro near eye level. So it feels more like a desktop computer or you can lower it down for inking. And being able to use the Surface Pro in those different positions, well, it's pretty fun, especially if you connect up an external display, because now you can use the Surface Pro reclines for drawing and inking while you look at your normal display for work. That's just a combination that we haven't really seen before.
a lot of detail when it comes to design. This has a metal chassis and it has this matte silver finish to it that just looks great. Uh, you get a lot in this small package. It's really portable. I think it only weighs like 2.82 pounds. It has a hinge on the back of it that lifts the laptop off of the surface that you have it on. This is gonna allow more air to get in there to be able to help keep the laptop cool. It is a 13 inch 4K micro edge lit display. And then we also have the fact that this display is also a touch screen. It has an eighth generation Intel i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. It also features a blazing fast M.2 SSD. On the left hand side, you will find a headphone slash microphone combo port. And then also you'll find one USB 3.1 type A port and also one USB 3.1 type C port. And then on the opposite side, you will find uh, the power port and also you'll find another USB 3.1 type A port and also you find a micro SD card reader. It offers a built-in privacy camera kill switch to cover your webcam when you're not using it. You can also use the integrated fingerprint reader to log in securely with just a single tap. HP has also incorporated a BIOS recovery system to protect your PC. Now battery life is no slouch too, giving you 9 hours and 45 minutes of video playback time on a single charge or up to 12 hours and 45 minutes on mixed usage. HP Envy 13 inch laptop, a fantastic laptop. 